Hey guys, how's it going? Thought I'd show you a hard head. There she is, right up there. That swarm is still there. Why? I don't know. She's a hard head. Hard as, her head's as hard as a billy goat. I've got all these boxes here, and I just went around through a bunch of old comb and a bunch of these old combs that I had uh, yesterday evening. Uh, her combs are still in that hive there. So yeah, there she sits up there. There's a good, there's a good $150 worth of bees right up there, guys. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you, keep you guys posted. These bees are working this, uh, I got some bees here working this uh, sweet almond. Something else I got working this thing too. Stink bugs. So here's what I do with them. Got me a jar full of stink bugs. Yeah, that's that sweet almond. I'm gonna pick up some more of these. They were in a three gallon pot. This thing's grown quite a bit. They like full sun. I've got another one in partial and it doesn't seem to like it as much. These get quite tall too, I understand. Uh, president of the club, he's got them, a whole fence line of these things. And the bloom on this thing, it really smells great. Here's another stink bug here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this thing blooms year-round, and so I'm going to get more of them. I don't know what, I'm in zone 9, and uh, these are supposed to be fine here. I don't know how far, you guys might want to research it, but uh, this is a real nice tree, according to the president uh, of the club, B Club. Check that out. So, we'll okay, keep you guys posted on what's going on here. My old super queen down here, she's doing real nice. Here's actually a swarm that moved into this box. This was a dead colony and a swarm moved into this thing. Oh, three weeks ago. Uh, this girl here, this girl here is uh, producing, pumping out a lot of bees. Sucking up a lot of stuff. I just threw a whole bunch of diatomaceous earth under this stuff, all these boxes. I picked up a sack down there at my local Rural King and uh, so I went into this little light colony here and the patty on it had a bunch of uh, beetle, beetle uh, maggots swimming through it. I snatched it out of there and uh, I'm gonna monitor I'm gonna go in all these hives tomorrow see how their patties are doing and I'll put smaller I'll put a smaller doses on these guys maybe like quarter size in these small hives any I look at these other ones this thing gobbled up a couple uh, had a this hive over here I added another patty to it and it uh, It really gobbled them up too. I need to get a better lid for this thing. They're all hanging out over here. I had a heck of a I had a heck of a dog on uh, rain come through here about ten minutes with just heavy downpour, and uh, that swarm just hung right in there, just nice as can be. So there they are, guys. I'll keep you posted. Let you know what they're gonna do. Hopefully they'll go in here. I've got swarm traps hanging out in these trees over here too. They've been in there for three years. I haven't caught a, I haven't caught a swarm in them yet in three years. Got one over there. It's a paper mache looking thing. I got another one with a five gallon bucket that I rigged up with I super I uh, hot glued wood on the inside of it all the way around, and I just put a couple of bamboo uh, pieces across. 
with beeswax all over them. The only thing I don't have that I need to pick up, I'll probably do it not this year, next year. I'm going to keep on standby some of the pheromone strips and uh, for when I'm making up my nooks, put a small piece of pheromone strip in each one uh, just to help hold them bees in the boxes and all. Alright guys, quickie vid. Catch you on the next one. Be happy. See ya.